Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl D Chanel here with another video. Um, today we're gonna be doing a foundation review. It's not a first impression because I have again zero self control. If you know me, if you've been here for a little while, you know I always say this. I have zero self control. So I bought this foundation and I was like, I'ma use it now. So instead of coming to you with a first impression, I'm coming to you with a full on review of the new NARS light reflecting foundation. I have mine in the shade New Caledonia dark two or D two. It doesn't say dark, but I figured D means dark or deep or one of the two. Um, D two. And if you want to know how I feel about this foundation, cause it's a NARS foundation, you know, I'm a NARS ass girl. Go ahead and keep on watching. So we're gonna go ahead and get started today. This is like the third or fourth time I'm using this. I wanna say third, cause it came out on Friday and it's Monday. Third time-ish. I've used a different primer each time. So the first time I used the Milk Hydro Grip, which is what I always use typically. The second time I used the Jaclyn Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint that she just came out with. Cause I heard you could use it as a primer. Um, I liked it better, I wanna say with the Jaclyn blurring stuff um but today i'm gonna use did i tell y'all what i'm using i'm sure you saw by the intro in the title but i'm using the new nars foundation the light reflecting foundation um but today i'm gonna use it with the jacqueline skin perfecting oil primer except do i have a mirror over here that's the question I don't. So we're going to use this Natasha Denona palette because it's got a nice big mirror in it. Um, but I'm just going to put this on my whole face. I would do half, but there is never a point where I don't have on primer. If I'm wearing foundation, I'm wearing primer. So I'm going to put this on my entire face. Just do like a little drop there, a little drop here, a little drop here. And I just... Um, took a shower and like washed my face and all of that so everything is fresh and nice skincare has been soaking for a little while just gonna rub this in Now because this is the oil I don't expect it to give it any longevity I'm gonna show you guys like a little mini wear test um but then i'll like this is just the demo that i'm doing i'm gonna insert a clip of what my face looks like at the end of the night but i already know like how it lasts pretty well i can tell especially wearing my mask and stuff because i do got jobs so i already know how this pretty much looks all right, so I'm going to go in with two pumps on the back of my hand. Roll up my sleeve so I don't get any on my jacket. This is really, really liquidy. I did notice that compared to my all-time favorite NARS foundation, which is the Natural Radiant Longwear. Um, I did notice that this is a lot more liquidy. I'm going to take a sip of cranberry juice. And then get the show on the road. So I'm gonna go with two pumps. The pumps are really small. So ugh, if it'll focus. That's two pumps on the back of my hand, not a lot. So I'm just gonna go in on the side of my face. Just so you guys can see like a before and after type of deal and i'm gonna do this side with me sponge this is from haley's beauty i believe everybody was raving about this sponge and my favorite sponge was the elf the white sponge they came out for their christmas collection like the 
end of 2020 end of 2021 yeah and I only bought two and I don't have no more so I'm trying to find a sponge that I like but I'm just gonna go in and blend this out I did notice that I get slightly better coverage with a brush however comma space however um, with a brush it's really really streaky I don't know what it is about maybe I don't know if maybe it's this sponge but I feel like it soaked up like all of the product so this is the side of my face that has it on you can see it's a lot like it's more even but I do feel like it's not covering as well as it did yesterday this is straight on side with side without The oil's definitely coming through, which I'm okay with because I have dry skin, as we know. But I feel like the sponge soaked up a lot of the product. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the other side with a brush, even though I don't necessarily like it. And I did use up that whole two pumps. It's gone. So I'm going to go in with two more. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to dot this on my face again. And I'm gonna zoom you in just so I feel like you'll be able to see the streakiness a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you mainly like right here. Definitely more coverage, but definitely like very streaky. It did this with the Milk Makeup Primer, and it also did it with the Blurring Skin Tint. Like, like I said, there is more coverage, but it takes a heck of a lot longer to blend it out. And I do feel like on the side with the brush, it's a lot more dewy. It just takes a little bit more effort, but again, more coverage. So if you are okay with putting a little extra work, some days I am, some days I'm not. But you can definitely see that this side has more coverage than this side does. And I didn't even go through the whole two pumps that I put on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to use the rest of that with the brush just to build up on this side. And then I'm going to show you guys how it plays with concealer. I've used two different concealers with this thus far. Yes, I'm going to zoom you back out for this. Just give me a second here. Okay. So that is both sides blended out. The sponge, not the sponge, the brush definitely gives more coverage, but the sponge I feel like is a little bit more flawless. So I'm just going to go over this side with the sponge. It's not taking away coverage or anything. It's just pressing everything in. Um, but today I'm going to use... I was going to use my Kosas concealer, but I used that last time. And I want to try another concealer with it. 
So I'm going to use my ABH Magic Concealer, Magic Touch Concealer, sorry, in the shade 21. Did I tell you what shade this was? This is shade uh, D2 New Caledonia. This is the shade I wear in all their foundations. And I feel like it is truly the same throughout each like line because I have it in all of the foundations. Um, but I am going to put concealer on and set it so you guys can see what it looks like and how it plays with this foundation. Oh, that's fun. It's like a hair on my concealer. Weird. Okay. So I'm going to do one eye at a time. This is the shade 21. I can't remember if I said that. And I'm going to go in with the brush that I used. And I blend out like the edges first. So I blend it into the foundation. Like that. And as you can see, it blended very nicely. And then I go in either with a brush or a sponge, depends on how I'm feeling. I have the sponge right here and I don't feel like digging through this cup for my other brush for my concealer. So then I'm just gonna go in on the inner corner with the sponge. Ugh. And then same thing on the other side. All right, so that is what we are looking like. It did blend in with the foundation really well. I do really like the way it looks with the oil primer. Again, dry skin. I add as much moisture as I can before I go in with powder. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. Probably going to put it all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with bronzer and blush and do my eyebrows. And I'll be back to show you guys what we're looking like as soon as that's all done. All right, so we're back. This is what the face is looking like. I'm going to kind of like... So you can see, we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna keep my hand up here actually. So, I feel like we're looking good. I used cream bronzer on top of powder and it didn't lift anything up. So that's good, everything is sitting nicely. I don't think I have like too many lines or anything on my face right now none around my mouth none of my forehead lines are acting up so this is what we're looking like i haven't set my face with setting spray yet i wanted to do that on camera with you guys as per use so i'm gonna use my light it's right here um the morphe continuous setting mist you can't see it because it's white but i am going to use this today if the cap doesn't fall off Nope, nope, cap falling off. Okay. I love the mist on this. I just feel like I want to spray it myself all day. All right, so I'm gonna wipe that off because my nails get in the way. Yep, mm-hmm. Just flying and setting spray all over the place. So now this is what we're looking like. Definitely. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see if that'll dry down. Hopefully, it doesn't leave a big spot. Hopefully. Um. But like on this side, you can kind of see that it just kind of sank everything together. 
the spot seems to be going away with the fanning so I'm not gonna touch it I'm not gonna press it in with a sponge the last time I did that it took a dot out from under my under eyes so we're just gonna hopes and prayers people hopes and prayers it doesn't look too bad um but yeah so that's what we're looking like right now it is 4 25 I should have started this video earlier but like I said, I already know like my feelings on it. So I'm going to tell you my thoughts now and then I'll just kind of insert a clip like here of what my face looks like at the end of the night. So um, I'm just going to read. Can I oh, please while I pull up Sephora? Because like I could have been prepared to record the video in which I'm recording, but that would have been too much like, right, right, right. So we're here. All right, so this is an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. I will say that just, you're gonna judge me, it's fine. I'm horrible at taking off my makeup at the end of the night. And there are some foundations I put on where I won't take my makeup off and the next day it's like, ooh, I got bumps popping up. I need to go in and fix this. This one, I wore, I, I did the same thing as usual. And I woke up the next day and I didn't have any bumps. And my skin looked a little bit smoother than the other day before. I'm not saying that, you know, it's, magical or anything but my skin didn't look bad it didn't look worse it didn't look crazy so let's see uh breathable yes it's very lightweight i don't feel like i have makeup on my face sometimes you can feel the tightness like really around your mouth i don't feel like i have anything on my face other than the setting spray that i put on just because it's not over here still wet and i feel like my face is a little bit cold but other than that definitely lightweight definitely breathable medium coverage yes it is not not at all a full coverage um oh no are we doing this again it's definitely not a full coverage foundation i will say that my other nars foundations not the sheer glow the sheer glow is also kind of medium but the soft matte complete foundation and the natural radiant longwear are both very full coverage to me so this one is definitely medium but i'm not mad about that i've been on more of a a lighter coverage kick recently so I'm feeling it it looks really good it doesn't look like heavy or cakey or anything um, buildable foundation you saw I did build it up on this side and it didn't get cakey or anything Ooh. conceals visible redness blemishes and dark spots I do have some darkness I have a couple dark spots from like um, a few little like blackheads pimples whatever the heck you want to call them I don't know um, and then I do have darkness around my mouth and I feel like it did cancel it out without turning gray. So that's nice. Um, blurring the look of wrinkles, pores, and texture. Yeah, it definitely did that. So everything so far that this is saying, I definitely 100% agree with. Um, powered by 70% skincare ingredients for visibly improved clarity plus light reflecting complex for enhanced luminosity. I will say even without the oil primer that I use today that like added like a whole nother step of glow. This was already relatively dewy so I do agree with that. The luminosity thing. Up to all day wear formula is suitable for most skin types including sensitive. Um, so the, the only thing that I want to touch on is the up to all day wear. It doesn't have any specific claims. It doesn't claim any specific hours, which I think is a good thing for foundations. Like stop claiming you're a 16 hour foundation when if I put on my mask for five minutes to go downstairs to my mailbox and come back upstairs, all of my foundation is gone. You're not all day wear. So every foundation that I've tried in the past year that's like transfer proof. No, it's not. And I don't, I don't expect anything to be transfer proof especially underneath the mask because it's literally rubbing your face it's literally rubbing the makeup off your face um but i will say with this one that at least the fade is graceful so um there was another foundation i was trying out last week i put it on one day um wore it to work had my mask on and there was no graceful fade it was like 
you could see exactly where it sat. You could see the, the, the strings, the lines from the strings on the side of my face. There was no graceful fade. Um, so that's my, that's the only thing I'm necessarily looking for when something says long wear, like a graceful fade. Cause I don't expect you to stand up to a mask. I'm breathing in it. It's hot. It gets warm. It gets moist. I hate that word, but it gets moist and things rub off. It's literally like washing your face with your own breath. Nothing's going to last through that. Like if you know of a way to make your foundation last through wearing a mask and have like no lines and look flawless, like you just put it on, please let me know in the comments because I need to know because I have to wear my mask all day. And it's getting to the point now where like, I'm thinking on it and I'm like, dang, the only thing I can really do is put foundation on my forehead, a little bit of concealer under my eyes and start doing bomb eyeshadow looks because you can't see the rest of my face 95% of the time. <sighs> COVID is ruining everything because I am a complexion ass bitch. <sighs> Anywho, not the point. The point I'm trying to make is this, I want to say is a long wear formula just because it grades, grades, fades gracefully. Words, um, anything on the back of the box? shake well apply small amount of that. I did that avoid direct contact with eyes don't put it in your eyes balls girls and gents don't put it in your eyeballs um real quick editing Dominique here um I just wanted to note something that I didn't get to say in the video because I didn't notice because I hadn't worn the foundation all day yet but with this one i do say use like a smoothing or blurring primer because i did notice i think specifically because i used the oil with this one but i did notice that um it was a little pory a little pory up in here just a little bit like it won't a lot so like if you got like pores like pores pores you may want to like use a pore filling primer but you know i still liked it so yeah so basically if we're gonna say do i like it do i not we're giving this like an a i i actually i and i knew i was gonna like it because i always like nars foundations like even if it takes me a second to like them i always like nars foundations this is really good it's giving my natural radiant long wear a run for its money because it is lighter weight I'm not even going front with y'all this is much lighter weight than that one is. I did have to use four pumps of this. You saw I used two on each side of my face. That I only have to use like two pumps on my whole face. Again, because it's more full coverage. But this is definitely lighter weight. I definitely don't feel like I have anything on my face. And I like that feeling more. And they kind of give me the same effect because it's light reflecting, light reflecting, radiant. Same fucking difference. It's the same damn thing and a lighter weight formula. So if you haven't tried the natural radiant long wear, I'd say try this one first, just because it's like the new and improved version, just new and improved. I, don't, I wonder if they're going to discontinue any of them because they've got like all day weightless, luminous, all day luminous, weightless. So luminous, weightless, right? Natural radiant long wear concealer, uh, not, not, not concealer foundation. Um, and then light to reflecting. They're all, glowy although i will say the, the all day luminous and weightless that dried me out i used to love that foundation and looking back at videos and pictures yo my face was dry shit <laughs> i loved it at the time i feel like we're just upgrading we're upgrading foundations slowly but surely like we started there and now we're here and i'm good with that so yeah Minus my ramble and all of the shiz I'm talking, this foundation, I 100% recommend it. It's really, really pretty. I do think it's nice for your skin. It's not, again, really heavy, so it's not one of those foundations that's gonna clog your pores. How come ain't nobody tell me my necklace was upside down, inside out? Rude. Y'all could've told me that. Anywho, um, yeah, that's what I say. I Like I said, I'm gonna insert what my face is looking like at the end of the night right here. I'm gonna insert it right here. I'm gonna put it right here here put it right here this is what my face was looking like at the end of the night i don't know how long it's gonna be probably like seven or eight hours because it's six 
probably won't check back in till 11 because I'll be up all night even though I need to go to work in the morning I'll be up all night anyway um but yeah um thank you guys for watching I'm working on my filming setup and the lighting and stuff I'm really I'm trying really hard I have I have how do y'all do this how do like the professional youtubers do this y'all gotta y'all gotta let me know some tips because baby I don't I don't understand what I'm doing this don't make no sense everything is confusing me but I'm working on it so thank you for sticking with me go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe down below comment again if y'all know how to make y'all makeup last inside your mask for dry skin that part because I'm not putting 18 layers of powder on my face because I can't because then I'll look stupid anyway so let me know down below and me myself and all of my craziness we'll see y'all in the next one Deuces.